Ken Layla, the space goddess, escaped from Ren, master of Triad Galaxy. Can she reprogram the computer to seal the hatches and prevent Ren taking her for his bride? No, 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 no. What are you doing? Morris, cut the music. Look, I'm trying to build up atmosphere. I'm telling you the story to get you in the mood so that you can show fear when the monster grabs you. You frighten me. Shut up. But he looks so silly, he just makes me laugh. I want a space goddess, yes? All I get is a dumb blonde with space between the ears. Get out. You're a pig! You're a fat, stupid pig! You're finished now. Go on, get out. Get out! Jane? Jane. Oh, you're changed, you're dressed, you're looking gorgeous. We're going to carry on with these shots up here, love. We'll just need to touch up your hair. Ray. All right, all right, we break for five minutes while Jane gets ready. We grab a quick coffee. And I said five minutes and not a weekend. Joe. You know, sit up, the enlarger. You can print when you're ready. Right. Will somebody make me a coffee? Bring it to the dark room. Me. Morris. Yeah. Morris. Look, it's supposed to be moonlight on the stained glass windows. Yes. Yeah. Could we have a two K on there? Thank you. Right. You're fired. What are you standing there for? Maurice. Yeah. Coffee, thank you. Welcome to the first of a new series of Who Done It, the murder quiz that you can play at home and test your wits and deducting powers against our studio guests. Now, first, I'd like to introduce you to our permanent team, fresh from solving crime in the Thames TV series Zodiac, the lovely Miss Anushka Hempel. <laughs> and let's hope her crystal ball is going to work here. And from special branch, Detective Haggerty in the guise of Patrick Mower. And competing against our resident team, each week will be two guests. And this week they are another detective, but this time from Softly Softly, Norman Bowler. <laughs> and to assist him, that best-selling authoress and lady whose brains match her looks, Miss Jackie Collins. And let me also welcome four detectives from our audience who will see all the clues that you see at home. The only difference being they stand to win a prize if they guess right. There they are. <laughs> and if you think that you've seen this spaceship before, and I certainly haven't come across it in my travels, we are actually at the scene of the crime. Now remember, only the murderer himself is allowed to lie. Aware of the shoals of red herrings, and for those of you who know a little bit about photography, let me give you a clue. However much you know about it, it won't help you at all. <laughs> and while you're working that out, let's get back to the plot to find out who done it. The inspector will be late. I've been telling he's out on another case, but uh, he won't be long. I telephoned for the police. 
I expected the CID, the murder squad, or at the very least an inspector, but really, a constable. Shouldn't you be out directing the traffic or something? Can I take this gear off? It's terrible inside here. I say, you just be patient. If you're an actor, you should be used to waiting in the wings. Oh, I'm not an actor. The actor who was supposed to play the monster failed to show, so I stepped in in his place as a favour. I'm a hairdresser. You could be quiet, sir. And I mean, sir, I'll just take all your names. Starting with you, sir. I'm not talking to you, my dear fellow. I'll only have to repeat it all again when the real ones get here. Can I take it, sir, you're refusing to help in these inquiries? Oh, for God's sake, Morris, let's get on with it. We're in enough trouble as it is. Very well, then. I'm Maurice. I run the studios. Maurice what, sir? Williams. What do you mean you run the studios? He means well, he's Martin's assistant. He puts up the lights and he looks after the electrics. And the scenery and the props and the costumes. Yeah, yeah, you're very important. The constable's most impressed. Who asked you? What's happening? What's going on here? You must be the inspector, sir. Inspector? No, not exactly. My name's Ralph Damon. I'm the client. We publish Satellite, the science fiction magazine. I'm paying for the photographs being taken here today and the studio time. From what I see, I don't appear to be getting value for my money. Ralph, Martin's dead. Dead? I found him in the dark room. He looked terrible. Martin! Martin poisoned. I can't believe it. It's stranger than fiction. It's no joke, sir. Would you mind answering a few questions? No, no, of course I don't mind. Although I've only just got here, I don't really know anything. Yes, sir. Have you known Mr. Scott a long time? A long time? Uh, well, yes, I suppose five years in this business is a long time. Yes, you might say so. Did you have any, any enemies? Enemies? From hundreds, I should think. You can't get to the top in this business without making enemies. Well, I'm quite sure none of them would have killed him. Well, somebody did, sir. Sergeant? Sergeant. Just plain constable, sir. Oh, I'd hardly say plain. Uh, now, what was I going to ask you? Oh, yes. Can the girls get dressed now? No, I think the inspector would prefer them as they are, sir. Mm, you men, you're all the same. Well, can we at least get into something cooler? No, just stay as you are for the time being, love. Right. Just take the rest of your names. Uh, Ray Hunt. But everyone calls me Raymond. I'm a freelance hairdresser. Martin always books me when he's got a job on. Lucky I was free, though. You know, I never stopped. Yeah, you leave it there, sir. <laughs> Joe Marsh. I'm in charge of the dark rooms. I do all the effects. Two girls are Martin's models. That's Jane there in the bridal gear, and the Martian goddess, that's Sheila. And she's not one of his regular models. Constable! Not everybody liked Martin. He was a very temperamental artist. There's nothing against anyone being temperamental, Constable. Very successful from his account book. I know, so you've got quite a bit of money invested in the studio yourself, Mr. Damon. A small amount, yes. <laughs> it was Jane who persuaded me, wasn't it, my dear? Persuaded? More like blackmail, you mean? I was just outside Martin's office last week. I saw and heard quite a lot. Don't give me that! Look, Ralph, don't try and tell me how to run my business. If you put up more money, then you'll benefit, and so will I. What you really mean is that if I do put up some more money, You'll stop those photographs of Jane and myself getting to the press. That's it, isn't it? Oh, I'm sure Martin wouldn't do that. Really? Then why doesn't he let me have those negatives now? Let's just call it insurance. That's all. Welcome back to Who Done It. Now, so far we've seen Martin Scott, the photographer, die in his darkroom after drinking coffee with potassium cyanide in it, a chemical often used in his business, but usually with less dramatic results. Joe Marsh runs the darkroom and the processing. Ray, the hairdresser, seems a very gentle sort of person, despite the fact that he's dressed as a monster for a photo session. Did Sheila, the girl the dead man lost his temper with, do it? Or Morris, who runs the studio? Well, Jane, the model, is far too pretty, and Ralph, the client, too smooth. Now, remember, the dead man had some compromising photographs of them. Well, as you see, it's a terribly simple plot. 
And to clarify it even further, let's go back to the scene where the constable is continuing his questions to the suspects. And for those of you who haven't spotted the main clue to who done it, well, don't worry unduly, we haven't shown it yet. My dear Morris, what an exaggerated imagination you have. I wouldn't say this account book was imaginary, sir. Thursday, March the 8th, £4,000 received from Ralph Damon Associates Limited. Well, yes, I did invest a bit more. There are six other entries. Were you being blackmailed by Mr. Scott? Mr. Scott and myself did a lot of business together, and I think you are exceeding your authority, Constable. Anyhow, I have no other statement to make. I don't know why you're crying, dear. He was about to kill your career stone dead. Well, I didn't make the coffee. No, well, neither did I. But I, I know who did. Okay. Did you make it, sir? All right, it's not as drastic as all that. I made the coffee. But Joe took the coffee in. Didn't you, Joe? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Where are you going, Bray? Martin wants coffee. Yeah, well, don't go in there. He's got some prints in the soup. I'll take it in, all right? Uh, sure, dark room. Yeah. Oh, Joe! When can I have a look at the prints of the lipstick ad? You mean the ones you shot in Jamaica? Yeah. What's the matter, Joe? You look very worried. Who, me? No, everything's fine. Yeah, those prints are ready. I'll show them you later, all right? It's getting cold. What? Your coffee's getting cold. Oh, I forgot. I'd better take it in then, hadn't I? What the call is chemical? Potassium cyanide. What's it used for? It's a reducing agent. What's that? It's a chemical used for the reducing or lightening of a negative if it's been overexposed, or if you want a special effect like. I see. We don't use uh, potassium cyanide much these days. Why, well, it's too dangerous for one thing, and there are easier chemicals we can use. And why use this stuff? I don't know. It's been in this game for 20 years. I suppose I'm a bit old-fashioned. I'm still the best there is in the business. Oh, he's so modest with it too, eh? Yes, you may be the best, dear, but it still didn't stop you trying to force more money out of your poor dead friend only yesterday, did it? Did you have some sort of a row with Mr. Scott? Row? Well, I'll say it was. All right, don't believe me. Don't take my word for it. Jane, you were there. You tell it. I won't say another word why anyone would yeah, think All right, I... all right, sir. Let the lady say a few words, will you? It is true. I was in working and I'm afraid there was a nasty scene. Lovely, darling. What I want to try well, and come do... on now, what Look, about I it? can't talk to you and take pictures at the same time. Try it close, love. I, I, what I... Jane, take a break, love. What are you talking about? It's me that gets the business. Yeah, you may be the genius with others, mate, but where would you be without my effects, eh? If it wasn't for my know-how, you'd be back taking snaps of tourists on the corner of Oxford Street. You're beginning to push your luck, my lad. My lad. <laughs> I should call you old man. Go on, try get another job at your age. See how far you get. Thank you, miss. I haven't I seen you in the news lately? You might have done. I've just got engaged to Viscount Lander. There were several pictures in the press. Yeah. Could you tell me about the pictures of you and Mr. Damon? The ones that Mr. Williams mentioned a little while ago? Oh, those? Well, they were taken when Ralph... Um, I mean, Mr. Damon and I first met. A long time ago. Would they have been embarrassing to your future husband? I object to you questioning Jane in this way. Yes, of course they would have been embarrassing. That's why Martin kept them. I suppose he was jealous. Oh, they only really loved himself more than anybody else. I'm not surprised he died next to his own photograph. Do you think, Miss, if I were to search the dark room or the studio, I might find those photographs? You mean the photographs of Jane and myself? I don't have that in mind, sir, yes. I'm afraid, Constable, you wouldn't find them because both prints and negatives have been destroyed. How's that, sir? I destroyed them myself only this morning. I arrived here rather early. I found Martin had gone out and Joe was busy with a client, so I went into the dark room and, surprisingly, found the filing cabinet unlocked.
After that, I simply left and no one was any the wiser. Are you sure you did leave, sir? Wouldn't it have been possible to stay and wait for Mr. Scott? Well, for two hours. You must be out of your mind. No wonder you're still on the beat, Constable. Yes, sir. Mr. Marsh! When was the last time you used the chemical? Uh, potassium cyanide. About a week ago. Yeah, Jane had some special beat shots done. They were a bit dark, so I lightened them up. And that was the last time you touched it? Yeah. You're in charge of the dark room. Why weren't you developing the pictures? Oh, the big secret. Photos of himself, he wouldn't let me touch them. <laughs> you know, Mr. Marsh, I've always been interested in photography, but I've never had the time, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. How'd you go about making a picture? Well, you mean develop a print? Well, you take the sensitised paper, this is in layman's terms, of course, and when it's been exposed, you put it in a dish of developer. When the image begins to appear, you transfer it to a water bath, and then into the fix. Thanks. And a fix? That's the stuff that stops the picture going black when the light comes on. Yeah, exactly. You're learning fast. And that's what happened to Mr. Martin's photograph. Yeah, the one he was looking at. Yeah, well, he, uh, he didn't have time to fix it. You might say he was fixed before the picture was, eh? Well, that's not funny. No. But you've suddenly grown very fond of lovable old Martin, haven't you? Well, let us not forget his death will suit Maurice here nicely. He wants to take over the studios. Some hope, huh? Now, don't let's start accusing each other. None of us dislike Martin enough to kill him. Well, somebody did. While I was developing that photograph. Yes? Constable, it's for you. The inspector's downstairs. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'll, uh, we're on the third floor. Yeah, I've, I've completed the preliminary questions. Clues? Oh, yes, sir. They appeared negative at first, but they're very positive now, as they say in the photographic world. In fact, the guilty party's with me now, sir. Well, Constable Piper seems to know who done it. But whilst our resident panel and our guests puzzle it out, let's welcome the suspects. <laughs> now, panel, before you cross-examine our suspects, you are allowed to ask for an instant replay of any of the action that you've seen so far. So let's start with you, Jackie. Well, John, I think I'd like to see the bit where, right, quite near the beginning, where a hand reaches into the dark room and takes out, uh, is it the potassium cyanide? Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to see that bit, which includes him taking it out, or her taking it out, whoever it is. Where the hand reaches into the dark room and takes the potassium cyanide. Yep. Right. Norman. I'd like to see the scene between Marsh and the constable, when he asks about photography. Scene between Marsh and the constable, asking about photography. Thank you, Norman. So you shall. Anushka. And I'd like to see the bit where Martin actually takes the mug to drink off the, off the filing cabinet. Takes the mug from the filing cabinet. Yes. Right, Anushka. Patrick. Oh, thank you. I want to see all those three. But also, I want to see... <laughs> do my work for me. I want to see the scene where Joe takes the cup off of Ray. Where Joe takes the cup yes. from Ray. Good. Russ, well, while we find those, let's have one question each. And may I remind you that only the guilty party is allowed to lie. And may I also remind Norman Bowler to stop flirting with Anushka Hempel. <laughs> this is a competition, and you two are supposed to be competing against each other. We are. <laughs> right. All right, question time. Jackie Collins, can I have a question from you, please? John, you're going to hate me for this, but I should never I... hate you. I should love you always. <laughs> what I'd like to do is change my mind about the thing I wanted to see. Yeah, of course. What I'd like to see instead is the photographer having the row with Joe. You'd like to see the photographer having the row with Joe instead? I think she's trying to confuse us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm All right, yes. That, but I can change my yeah, mind, can't I? That's fine. Of course you can change your mind. And now I can ask a question, it's a, it's right? a woman's privilege. Yes, please, go ahead I with your question. I would like to ask a question to Joe. Um, I'd actually like to ask him something very quick, first of all, which is how long before the murder was it that you had the row? Yesterday. Yesterday. And so yeah. today, did you prepare the dark room? I prepare the dark room every day. I wouldn't let anybody else prepare it. You wouldn't? It's my room. I see. And, and you did it today. And yeah. when was that? Early in the morning? Fairly early, yeah. Before the client. I saw a client this morning. Yeah, that was the time when, uh, when Ray said, yeah. Yeah, I heard so Ray was, say that. How many hours approximately before the murder? <sighs> I don't know exactly what time the murder was committed. Thank you very much. That is the longest one question I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> but you can change your mind. You can change your mind. <laughs> Norman Bowler, a question, please. Yes, I'd like to ask the constable, please. Um, where were you when you got the call? I was on patrol on the side of the building, sir. I got the call over the radio. A pocket radio? Pocket radio. Yeah. I see. Fine. Thank you, Norman. Anushka? Yes, I'd like to ask Morris. Did he see Ralph? in the studios earlier that morning? Yes. When he supposedly went to the dark room? Uh, no. No, I didn't. You didn't see him in the studios earlier that morning? Not earlier, no. Um, and was, was Joe around earlier on in the morning? Yes, I arrived, I should imagine, shortly after Joe arrived, as I would any other morning. I see. Thank you very much. All right. Patrick, a question. Yes, I'd like to ask Jane a question. She seems a very friendly girl. Uh, very friendly with the photographer and um, uh, the Viscount and even Ralph, weren't you? And um, I'd like to ask you, was it just a coincidence that you were wearing the gear ready to go on? Yes. What, what do you mean when? Well, when Sheila got the sack, when she got the elbow. Uh, oh, but I, no, I was playing a, a, a different part anyway. So all that happens is that Martin wanted me to, to go on and do the bit that I was going to do anyway. Oh, you weren't going to go on and play Sheila's part? Well, not at that precise moment, no, because I was wearing my bride's uniform. Ah, but you would have done that. I might have done, I don't know. Yes. I mean, in fact, he was going to save time and use me and forget her for the time being. And did you hope to get this job? Oh, I didn't really <coughs> care either way. Yeah. You're not very ambitious. I'm ambitious, but I didn't care particularly about this. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Her bride's uniform, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Uh, all right. Now, we are now ready for the first replay. And the first replay is Anushka Hempel's, and she wants to see Martin taking his coffee cup just before he dies. No, I'm going to watch all of yours now because that didn't help me at all. Oh dear, I am sorry. <laughs> so it was fun watching it though, wasn't it? Lovely sound effects. All right, uh, have you any questions you'd like to ask on that? Any um, statements you'd like to make? Not on that particular um, playback of mine, no. All right, fine. Let's say to open it up. Who'd like to ask? Well, you? I'd like to ask Joe, actually, uh, w about the, the coffee cup. Wasn't it a, a very dangerous place, you knowing the panas panasium? Potassium? Potassium cyanide. cyanide. Is it potassium? Potassium. Um, you knew it was on that shelf. Isn't it very dangerous to put the cup there with the coffee in a dark room? No, I shouldn't think it was at all dangerous. Both Martin and I knew what potassium cyanide was. Yeah. He wouldn't likely to be likely to put it in his coffee. And being a dark room, there being no light then, I mean, if anybody took the coffee, then they would know where to put it. You're wrong to assume dark. there's no light. There is a red yeah. light. Could I ask Morris, diffused. in fact, then, would you know if you... T did you ever take him coffee? Yes. Would you know where to put the coffee? Is, it, is that the regular place to put it on that shelf, just round the corner, so you don't let too much light in? If it were the handiest place, yes, that's where I'd put it. Yes. Could I ask Morris something? Yes, you've sure. got him on camera. Did you do the electrics for the dark room that morning? No. You didn't? No. But you usually do? No. You don't? Well, I noticed when they no were talking to you... No electrics are required there. Well, they said that That's you dealt with the electrics. I mean, is that in the studio? Mm. But not I in think the they meant the electrics in the ah, studio. Yes. Okay. Thank you. The light is flashing. So we're ready now for the next replay, uh, which is Patrick's. Uh, he wants to see where Joe is taking the coffee from Ray before Joe enters the dark room. 
Got some prints in the suit. I'll take it in, all right? Uh, sure, dark room. Yeah. Oh, Joe! When can I have a look at the prints of the lipstick ad? You mean the ones you shot in Jamaica? Yeah. What's the matter, Joe? You look very worried. Who, me? Nah, everything's fine. Yeah, those prints are ready. I'll show them you later, all right? It's getting cold. What? Your coffee's getting cold. Oh, I forgot. I'd better take it in then, hadn't I? Yes, was that a very present help in trouble? Beautiful. Sheila, um, when uh, Joe was standing there with the coffee, with Martin on the cup facing you, did you mean your coffee in the broader sense of the word? You didn't mean it's, it was his, because it said Martin, didn't it? No, I didn't see that. I wondered if, because... Uh, all I said was your coffee, meaning it was his coffee, because he was holding it. Yes, but you turned away and gave a very quizzical look at something or someone or yourself. What were you thinking then? No, I was just going into the office to see if Martin was there. Oh, you didn't think there was anything, particularly any reason why Joe was worried, in fact? No. I, he, was, he looked worried and that's why I asked him, but I couldn't find any reason. But you um, didn't think about it afterwards? You didn't think why was he worried? And then when the, the cup was poisoned... As far as I'm concerned, I couldn't care less, really. Mm. Uh, you know, I was looking for Martin at that particular moment. But you didn't put two and two together and think at the end, ah, well, Joe must have done it, did you? No. You didn't. Could I ask... Norman Bowler, yes, please. Have you finished? Yes, I have, sir. Uh, Carry um, on. Mm. Sheila, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sheila, could you tell me something about your trip to Jamaica? With the victim? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you well, mean? Well, I mean, what, what, what <laughs> terms... I mean, what, what... Go on, tell me something about it. You were there on a job? Uh, yes, a job. yes. We yeah. were shooting... What was your relationship with the victim? Um, well, we had a relationship, yes. You had a what? A relationship. You, uh, yeah, right. Yes. I see. Thank oh, you. be bold. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I get the message. I get the message. No, of course <laughs> it's not You know what I mean. I mean. <laughs> no, I mean, you, you were sleeping together. Yes. Uh, well, I, I heard that loud and clear, first, sir. It's disgusting. All right, thank you. Oh, I've got a question. Oh, good. Yeah, go ahead. It's 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 Joe, I want to know, did, what was the relationship, or what is the relationship, between you and Jane? And Jane? Yes, sweet Jane, the model girl who... Jane is anything. purely and simply one of Martin's models, as far as I'm concerned. She's a freelance model. Nice girl. Takes a good picture. You didn't feel sorry for her because of the predicament that she has found herself in of having these rather intimidating photographs? I knew nothing about those photographs. Oh, you didn't know anything about them at all? No. And, uh... Did you know that um, Ralph had been into the studios previously that e morning? Excuse me there, I'm afraid I'll stop you because we are ready for the next replay. You can come back to that, Alushka, in a moment. So write it down so you don't forget it. <laughs> Here we have the, the next one, which is uh, Jackie's replay. She would like to see the argument between Joe and Martin during the photographic session. Genius with others, mate, but where would you be without my effects, eh? If it wasn't for my know-how, you'd be back taking snaps of tourists on the corner of Oxford Street. You're beginning to push your luck, my lad. My lad, <laughs> I should call you old man. Go on, try get another job at your age. See how far you get. Yes, Joe, I, I would like to ask you, what were you actually rowing about? Was he threatening to fire you, or was it about the blackmail pictures? No, I'd been pressing him for more money. Everybody else is getting 33% increases. I thought it was time I had one. I see. So, when you prepared the darkroom, I'm sorry to keep on going back to this, but when you prepared the darkroom and he was developing the photo before he died, um, hadn't he completed developing it? Because when the photo fell on the floor, it was a finished photograph. Uh, no. What happens is that if you put a print into the developer and you take it out and it's exposed to light before it has gone into the acid fix, the process will continue. And that's what happened. The Is process there any way continued. Developing a photograph could be dangerous at all. No, not at all. Um, can I? Yes, Patrick. Oh yes, uh, can I quickly ask Ralph a question? Um, both Norman and I are fairly familiar with the detectives. Uh, do you often get mistaken for uh, an inspector? 
No, that came as a great surprise to me to be mm. called an inspector. We noticed when you went into the dark room, which there's a great big sign saying no unauthorised person or one, one of those sort of signs with a big red light on it, and you went in, you went straight to the filing cabinet where the, the photographs were hidden or the negatives were hidden. Do you, does that mean that you go in there often? No, no. It, it, it purely meant that I was, uh, didn't go in there very often, but I was familiar with the place, for having used it so often to, uh, through Martin. And just above your head, there's a bottle. Do you remember what's written on it? No, no, on I shelf. don't. P.C. Mm. Uh, Potassium, uh, very close to Can I ask you a policeman's yeah. question quickly? Yes, of course. Can you tell me, how does potassium cyanide kill? What are the effects? Um, I'm not sure, but I think it burns, literally burns the insides of your, uh, of your stomach. And is it an immediate thing? Very immediate, yeah. Yes, it's instantaneous. Oh, yes, and I've got a question too for you. Mm. Good. Uh, PC, shoot. That's... Oh, sorry, not no, go ahead, go ahead. Coming yes. Yes, Don't I'm stop her, she's on the move. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to know, the cup that you found on the floor, was it the cup with the label with Martin on it? Was there a label on the cup? Yeah, it was. There uh, was, yes, it was, was the same cup. It was Martin's right. cup. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Can you I, thank you. Uh, no, we have questions for the minute, please. I'm glad to see everybody's keen and ready to go. But we have the last replay coming up. Uh, this is Norman's replay. He'd like to see Joe explaining to the constable Piper uh, how to develop a photograph. You know, Mr. Marsh, I've always been interested in photography, but I've never had the time, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. How do you go about making a picture? Well, you mean develop a print? Well, you take the sensitised paper, this is in layman's terms, of course, and when it's been exposed, you put it in a dish of developer. When the image begins to appear, you transfer it to a water bath and then into the fix. Thanks. And a fix? That's the stuff that stops a picture going black when the light comes on. Yeah, exactly. You're learning fast. And that's what happened to Mr. Martin's photograph. Yeah, the one he was looking at. Yeah, well, he. Uh... Right. I... Yes, can I yes, ask? Yes, please, carry on. Do you usually go around picking up clues with, with, uh, without gloves or just you, taking photographs with a camera, random? You're there on a preliminary um, investigation. Yes, sir. Well, if you've got any complaints, talk to the inspector. <laughs> 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 I think um, a very good question and a very good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Splendid. Can I yeah, ask, another? ask another one? Good luck. What, uh, what's the name of this inspector that said go along and do the preliminary? Inspector Hound. Who? Hound. 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 Yes. No. <laughs> From the Baskervilles. Inspector Hound. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Fine, that's ask, all. Um, yes, please. Our friend, the hairdresser, Ray, sitting there in his beautiful costume. Uh, a question. Um, Careful did you what not... you say. I will. I'm very... <laughs> <laughs> my darling. Um, did you not think it strange when Joe asked you if... Uh, when he said to you, I'll take the coffee and don't worry? Oh, no. You didn't? No. What was your relationship with the photographer? <clears throat> uh, be careful. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> yes, thank you very much indeed. Yes. <laughs> I think he answered that beautifully, yes. <laughs> he seemed to treat you very badly, though, didn't he? I mean, he made you dress up in all this gear, you had to do all the hair, oh, you rough. had to make the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> he was rough. <laughs> <laughs> And I liked not inspector. <laughs> <laughs> he was rough, but you liked him. Mm. I've got another one for Joe. Yes. I know, yes, I me too. Back to <laughs> but tell me why, when the photo dropped on the floor, it was an image of the photographer, and why did it go black? It went black because, as I said just now, the process will continue until the print has been put into an acid fix, which will stop the process. But when he was drinking his coffee, obviously with one hand. I mean, was he holding the photo with the other hand? Surely if you transfer a photo from one to the other, you would have to use both hands. I honestly don't know. I wasn't in there when he was drinking the coffee. And uh, where did the coffee spill? Over the photograph? I wasn't there. I, I don't know oh. what, what he did. Uh, we have, yes, okay. just a half, a half question, but Anushka half came way. in first. Oh, sorry. Joe, I want to know, are you a Cancerian? Yes, I am. You are, thank you very so much. So am I. What the hell is that going to be? <laughs> <laughs> water, water, water. Water, water. Ah, yes. water Fluids. Water. Can I ask Ralph a quick question? Thank you. Yes. Um, Ralph, uh, we heard you say that you'd invested some more money into, the, into the, uh, this photographic firm, uh, and you insist that you weren't being blackmailed. 
Uh, so really, if uh, the, the, the death of the photographer would be quite a bad thing for you and your business, would it? Yes, it would indeed. We were great friends. And in fact, you used the word invest and blackmail together. Mm. But uh, it, it, it was a combination of both. But I considered it a very good investment. He was forcing money. you to invest in his firm. He wasn't forcing me. It was a friendly arrangement. Thank you very much indeed. Right, panel, the time is now up. Yeah. I want you to fill in your card yes. for who done it and mm. any clues that you have spotted so far. This also applies to our audience panel. Now, don't forget to put your name on your paper, on the cards. And may I see your card, Miss Collins? Please? You certainly may. Here we are. <coughs> hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> what about the coppers? Yeah? We'll have a look. Clever boy. Thanks, Thanks. Right. Lovely. Patrick. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> right, thank you very much indeed. Now, before I ask the panel who did it, let's see if we have a winner from the studio audience. No. 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 <laughs> we haven't a winner from the studio audience. That's the first time. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I was going to give you my own personal magnifying glass, but uh, we'll have to give it away next week. No. Yes. <laughs> right. Jackie, what about you? Who done it? Well, I personally think that Joe did it, as you may have guessed by the questions I was asking. <coughs> I think that he had the motive because he was jealous of, of him. They'd obviously met uh, a long time ago. He'd found him when he was a street photographer and they had got to the studio and, and built it up together, but Joe had obviously been pushed right into the background while the other guy became a huge success. And he was obviously jealous, and he was obviously in some hassle with him about money, and he was frightened of losing his job. Um, I really don't think, and I'm probably completely wrong, but I don't think he was killed by the coffee. I think he was killed by something in the um, mm, developing mm. of the photographs, and I'm not technically minded enough to know what, but, but something went on in that dark room. I don't believe it was the coffee, right, and I think it was Joe. Thank you very much indeed. I'm sorry to rush you. Yes, Norman. I think it was the constable. Yes. And why, quickly? <laughs> uh, first of all, he didn't know the inspector. He thought um, uh, Ralph was an inspector. He said, uh, you must be the inspector, which was pretty obvious. If somebody sent him on a job, mm -hmm. um, he would know who the inspector was. Uh, the other thing was that he didn't... Um, it, the other thing was that he didn't... Uh, no, he didn't. He, he handled all right his me. clues. <laughs> And I, I, I don't think any, any policeman would do that. Right. Thank you very much indeed. Three. Anushka. I didn't like the constable either, but I like Joe even less. <laughs> so can't, you thought Joe did it briefly. Can you tell yes, me why? Yes. I can't fool me with that Australian accent, dear. <laughs> <laughs> all that crabbing around, all those evasive answers. Thank you very much indeed. Patrick? <laughs> well, uh, I, I must, Quickly. I, I disagree with you all, actually. All the, I'm sorry to say, although you're very pretty, I think Jane did it. Because uh, I believe that she was being blackmailed with Ralph and that uh, she didn't know that Ralph had come in and stolen the negative in the morning. Otherwise, there would be no point in doing the murder. And also, she left the scene early when, when uh, the photographer said, well, tell me to get me some coffee. She mm. ran off and got the coffee. And uh, what was the other yeah, thing? Yeah, thank you very much. That'll do. Will that do? <laughs> <laughs> right. Who's right. So, we will now tell you who is right. Mm. Are you ready? Hang on tight. Uh, will the real who done it please stand up? Well, ah! <gasps> oh, Thank you very much. Right. There it is. Jane. So Patrick Moa, congratulations. Oh, well, you were absolutely right. Round of applause. Right. Well, as you can see, we started with an easy one. <laughs> of course, the murderess gave herself away when she said that it was typical of the victim to die beside a photo of himself. But as we saw when she said that she discovered Martin's body, the picture was black from overexposure. Well, so how did she know that it was a photo of him? Join us again next week when Anushka and Patrick will be competing against Beauty and the Beast. In other words, Amy MacDonald and Alfred Marx, when a racing driver begins his final drive. So until then, drive carefully. Good night. <laughs>